Now, listen, at the weekend, Arsene Wenger had his last game at the Emirates Stadium. <laughs> Such a sad occasion. Um, and we went to find out from the Arsenal fans, what now for Arsenal Football Club, now that this person that's been here for 22 years is leaving the club? Arsene Wenger finally announced he would be leaving the football club after a 22-year reign in charge. But the question is, what is next for Arsenal? Just to get the defence and goalkeeper position sorted out. I want to see us compete again, fam. You understand? I want to see us... I'm not saying that we have to win every game. I'm not saying we have to win the league every season. But at least let's compete for the league. You understand? We're a big club. We're 13 league titles, fam. Two, I think for me, two good goalkeepers and some quality defenders. I want us to start winning games, start win competing for the title, competing for the top European honours. That's what I want to see. Player development. We haven't had a really good uh, player development setup. We've been, we've been doing what I call haphazard buying. You buy players just because people want you to buy and then it ends up not being the right fit. I'd like to see a change in structure in terms of the way the, the team set out. I'd like to develop more of an Italian system where we have a very, very strong back three. It's been over 14 years since we won the league. It's embarrassing, fam. You understand? We need to be at the top end of football in the Champions League, semi-final stages. That's where we need to be, fam. Get the ball and break it, teams. Make them go on the back foot and don't let them recover. The goal is to play football. I mean, this is not the States. The States is money. Here, it's you can see there's passion for the actual games. I want us to be a united fan base as well. Everyone getting, you know, want a better atmosphere in the grand. But we can't ask for everything, can we? Well, some real opinions there. You're an Arsenal fan, Philippa. For the future of Arsenal, are you optimistic? I'm not optimistic, but like I've been saying for years, we need to focus on our defence. Like the guy said, we need a goalkeeper. Check's passed it. He's not the guy that he was at Chelsea. And we need that defence back that's got that strong Tony Adams, Vieira. So, like, going forward, we're all right. We're not the elite up front, but we can get goals. But I don't want to go against bottom table teams and concede goals just okay. for the sake of... Do you know what I mean? We need something strong at the back. OK. Optimistic. I mean, it hasn't been the greatest of season. Arsene Wenger's going to be going optimistic with a new manager who will push the team forward. I can't even call it unless I've got all the information to hand. It all depends on the oh, next... Oh, I need to know who the next manager is. You give me Allegri and I'll be optimistic. You give me Gary Neville... Then no, yeah. I'm not renewing. <laughs> so that's it. OK, OK. Optimistic? Yeah, very optimistic. Yeah, I'm very optimistic. New, new Why? Fresh Why? Why? What, what makes you so, you know, because we saw with Manchester United when they changed no, manager, there was have, a lot of problems. we're going to have a top-class coach coming in like because me. the plug has told me it's going to happen. <laughs> right? right, it's going to happen. We're going to get Massimo Allegri in and he's going to sort that defence out and we're going to go forwards. Okay. But we've got to be patient. What about you? Me, come on, fam. Wenger's gone, you understand? So it's a good look. The, like, the club will be unified now, the fans will be together, For three you understand? No, nah, nah, I think because <laughs> we, we, we will make the right appointment, innit? They know, innit? They know they can't fuck this up. Mm. They've seen what Man United have done and how they fucked it up. We're not going to do that, fam. Allegri or... Allegri, or what? Enrique, Simeone. Simeone. I'd take Simeone, Sorry. blood. You understand? Sorry. I'd take him, but I'd, I'd, but, I'd, but I'd prefer, like, a Jardine. OK, OK, let me, let me get a couple more opinions. What about you? I'm optimistic, you know what? Like, like everyone's saying, I think we're going to get a good manager in. I think we're going to... Change up the system, man. You know what? I think we can win the league next year. Why not? Oh. Why not? Oh. Oh. Let me get in this show, man. Let me get in this show, man. Win the league. Win the league. I think the best thing that's happened here yeah, is nice. Gazidez is going to take control of the club. He's him and Sven and Raul. They're going to take the club in a new direction. Whoever it is, Enrique, Yardim, fuck Ancelotti, not Ancelotti. Yeah, <laughs> and not um, Rogers. Not Rogers. But not you think this could, is capable yeah. of winning the league next season? Two or three years. Why not? Well, Two or three years. Of course we can yeah. push. Of course okay. we can. If Leicester can fucking win it, of course we can. What yeah. about okay. So thank you to you guys. Your German manager, Jurgen Klopp, has done wonders for you guys this season and you're in the final. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the final of the Champions League. <laughs> now, Chris, I know you was out there in Rome the other day. Um, you just about scraped through against Roma, though, didn't you? Yeah, look, it, five minutes ago, we were still... They needed three. You know, it, it is what it is. The fact is, we put enough in the first leg where we were going to go through and... I think, you know, everyone who was there, we were partying at half-time. We were 7-3 up at half-time in the second leg. So, I don't think we were ever really in doubt. Yeah. The referees made a dodgy decision and basically penalised Clavin for having arms, which I thought was a bit <laughs> unfair. Like, they, they were by his side, he's got arms, we're all humans, you know what I mean? Um, 
It is what it is. We, we go on to Real Madrid. Yeah, now, Real Madrid. Now, I don't want to frighten you, but Cristiano Ronaldo, Asensio, Gareth Bale, oh. Isco. <laughs> As I said, I don't want to frighten you. Like <laughs> but you, of course, have got Mo Salah and you've got me. You've got an incredible team and you've been playing great football. You've got nothing to fear, really, have you? No, listen, we were never expected to go to the Champions League final. Now that we're there, it's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? You know, for me, at the start of the season, all I wanted was top four secured again, and then you see where the development of this side can go to. We've blitzed our way to the Champions League final. We've scored the most goals, we've got the most clean sheets, we've got the top assister in it, we've got three of the top five goal scorers in there, we've got Mo Salah, who's bagged 43 goals this season. We deserve to be in that Champions League mm. final, and so the Real Madrid, and they, and they haven't been beaten for, like, three years in the Champions League, so it's going to be tough. Can you beat them? Of course we can. Whether we will is a different question. OK, well, in a couple of weeks, um, we're also going to find out who's going to win the FA Cup. Flex, are you confident that you can win it? Uh, I am. Um, it is a bit of a weird one because it's, there's a lot of Man United fans who think that um, an FA Cup win won't hide a lot of the problems that we've had this season. But it is a cup final and we want to do it for Sir Alex Ferguson. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers are with him. Um, but I do think we're going to win it. Chelsea have been indifferent this season. Conte's going to be out the door. Um, and they're in a probably worse position than we are. You need it, though, don't you? You uh, need it. It'll be a trophy this season. When you think about the amount of money you've spent at the start mm, of the season, I get you that. need it. But I think as Man United fans, we don't want to lower our expectancy. We don't want to, uh, you know, be having back-to-back -back FA Cups all the time, and you know, like an Arsenal thing where you, that's your main <laughs> thing. So, I mean, for us, yeah, if we win it, it'll be great. It's a cup final. You don't want to lose it, of course. But um, it, it won't hide the cracks on, mm. on what has been a, 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 not a not a great team. Now, Chelsea, you've hit a bit of form now. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, you had that FA Cup final last year, which you lost. Mm. You won't want to go there and lose another one. And you need it as well, don't you, to, you know, have a trophy for this season? Look, I think the trophy, again, like Flex is saying, it wouldn't hide the cracks. I think, like you're saying, we have been indifferent. We've been inconsistent. You know, we haven't been banging in goals. We've missed players and we've signed players which haven't really filled gaps, i.e. Bakayoko Morata and... Costa and uh, Matic respectively, but realistically, look, if we don't win a trophy and we finish fifth, I think it will kind of show where the issues lie. I th however, I think, for, for, as a fan, it won't cover the cracks, but the you, board would see a trophy and go, oh, great, got a trophy now. I mean, it, the money's kind of been invested. You can see where it's all gone, and realistically, <laughs> we're all going to be sat there going, no, mate. Like you've, you, but you I bet you'd love up. to get one over Mourinho, wouldn't you? I'm not too bothered, if I'm honest. I mean, like, oh. realistically, <laughs> realistically. <laughs> look, no, for me, like, obviously, it's great. It'd be great to win the FA Cup, but re realistically, Conte's never won a final. I'm not that confident going into face Man no. United. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a pessimist as it is. But realistically, like, if you look at the teams and you look at how we're playing, even though we've hit a bit of form, Mourinho will find a way to shut, um, shut Giroud down. He will get inside Conte's head because he does every single time without fail. All right, uh, give us a score. Happens. Give us a score for the game. Oh, you know I don't do them. Uh, give us a score. Uh, I'm, I'll go back and I'll go 2-1 us. 2-1 us. Just, <laughs> just to be fair. Score for you? 2-0 Man United. 2-0 Manchester United. Who's going to win the FA Cup? This weekend's the end of the Premier League season. No. What's been your highlight of the season? My brother, last weekend. Stoke getting really get <laughs> Your highlight? Well, it's got to be a 2-1 winner of Atletico away. Something Arsenal couldn't do. Mm. Well, we haven't had too many at West Ham, but it has to be Wembley League Cup, 2-0 down to win 3-2, knocking Spurs out of the cup. Yeah! Well, listen, I want to thank the guests, the audience, everybody who's been watching at home. It's the end of the season. Oh. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye to everybody.